Hey, what's up everyone? It's Cole Davis, and today we're going to talk about something that's on everyone's mind. How to learn tunes. Learning tunes is critical to being a musician at any level. Doesn't matter how many years you played, doesn't matter how good you are, learning tunes is essential. And it's also one of the hardest things to do. So first things first, what's the most important part of any tune? The melody. If I go, you are the promised kiss of springtime that makes the lonely winter seem long. That can only be one tune. There is only one tune with that melody. And if you write a tune with that melody, then you will get sued because that melody exists in one song. So the melody is the most important part of any tune. But there's an additional element that makes the tune the tune, and it's not the chord changes. Let me tell you what it is. I went to college in my hometown of New York City, New York, at a place called Juilliard. Maybe you've heard of it. And at Juilliard, we did not learn any jazz theory. Why? Why would a well-known music college not teach jazz theory? That doesn't make sense, right? Well, it does make sense, because there's something that's even more important than knowing your scales and modes, and that's counterpoint. Counterpoint sounds like a very scary thing, right? Wrong. Counterpoint is simple. Counterpoint is just two voices moving against each other at the same time. That's all counterpoint is. If I do this, well, that's not counterpoint. That's just two people playing the same thing. But if I do this, all of a sudden, that's counterpoint. Because you have two voices moving at the same time doing two different things. The best way to learn tunes is to sing the melody and play the root at the same time. I'm going to take this tune, All the Things You Are. It's a great tune, one of the best tunes, one of the seminal tunes in the Great American Songbook. And I'm going to sing the melody. We're just going to do up to there. Right, so that's the melody of All the Things You Are. Now, what am I going to play under that melody? I'm going to play the root motion. I'm not going to play a bunch of scales or a bunch of modes because that's not all the things you are. That's the changes to all the things you are. That's the chords that have been added to all the things you are. But the most important thing after the melody is just the bass notes. And the bass notes and the melody together create counterpoint. Let's check it out. Right? So those two things together create the song. The reason why certain schools don't teach jazz theory is because jazz theory is useful, but not as useful as understanding the relationship between the melody and the bass notes. If you understand that, everything makes sense. It's important to remember that these tunes were not written as a series of chord changes. They were written as songs. They were written as melodies. The changes in the original songs are often very different from the changes that we jazz musicians play because they weren't written that way. They weren't written with changes and improvisation in mind. They were written as counterpoint between melody and bass. The best way to learn tunes is to sing the melody and play the root at the same time. If you play saxophone or trumpet or a melody where you're using your voice, play the roots on piano. That is the best way to learn tunes. I'm very serious about that. A lot of us learn tunes as a series of changes or a 
bunch of scales or modes and we think, what can I play over this? If you can do this, then you're good. If you can play a whole tune, or even part of a tune, singing the melody and playing the bass part, you will never forget it. And if you can't do that, unfortunately, you don't really know the tune. I'll be the first to admit that I don't actually know that many tunes. I only know about maybe 900 to 1,000 tunes. But the tunes I know, I really know. I have good enough ears where I can sort of fake my way through a lot of tunes. But the tunes that I know, that I can sing the melody and play the root motion, those are the tunes that I really sound good on. The other tunes, I can kind of BS my way through it and it, it is what it is. But the tunes that I know are the tunes that I can sing the melody and play the root motion. I'm going to do that over all the things you are. that, it's so much easier to do this. sing the melody and play the bass part, the ideas just flow pretty naturally. It's the same with bass lines. I'm hearing the melody this whole time. That was humiliating for me, but the bass lines just came out naturally without me even thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about the bass line, but if I played that on a gig, that would have been a great bass line. That would have been totally cool. Not because I'm thinking of the, you know, the passing tone of whatever minor seven and the like leading tone and the tritone sub and the this and whatever. It's because I'm thinking about the relationship between the melody, which I know because I can sing it, and the roots, because I'm playing the roots. So if I know that relationship, then I've learned the tune. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to me on Patreon for more content. CDF.